Hello everyone and welcome to my new video on behavioral interventions improving volleyball performance. This is the full citation for the article that I'll be going over today and let's get started. So first a little background on this article. This study aims to examine the effectiveness of three different behavioral interventions, the specifics for we'll get into in a bit, on blocking skills in practice and in games for collegiate volleyball players. And this is important because it adds further knowledge into the impacts of certain behavioral interventions. So throughout sports psych interventions, three major types of interventions emerge. These are feedback, goal setting, and public posting. And these are somewhat self-explanatory, but worth going into in a little bit more detail. Feedback is usually thought of as a verbal praise or verbal stating of whether one has done an action correctly. This can involve enthusiastic praise or constructive criticism. However, the authors of this paper note that research on feedback is a bit of a jumbled bag, and there is little agreement on what type of feedback is best for the athletes to receive. Goal setting is the idea of setting targets for an athlete to reach in order to motivate and focus them. Public posting is often seen as a component of goal setting, but this is the idea that performance feedback is open and publicly posted so that the athlete and others can easily see whether the target that they were aiming for was hit. Moving on to the current study, the impact of these three interventions relative to one another was the main idea that researchers wanted to investigate. Thus, they created three interventions to test. The first intervention would consist only of goal setting and verbal feedback. The second would consist only of public posting and verbal feedback. The third and final intervention would be a combination of all three techniques, goal setting plus public posting plus verbal feedback. So this study utilized three female collegiate volleyball players who each received all three of the interventions. The dependent variable for this study was the percentage of blocks by the participant in which the participant executed proper blocking technique. This technique was rated by the primary researcher, who was also the coach of the volleyball team, and was subsequently checked by an assistant coach to provide inter-rater reliability. The first 10 block attempts at either a practice or a game for each participant was recorded and evaluated. First, the researchers recorded data at baseline before providing any verbal feedback or any other intervention technique to the participants. Then, in individual meetings, the researchers sat down with each participant and provided intervention one. This included having the player set a goal for the amount of completed blocks they would achieve the next practice session. During this session, they were provided with verbal feedback on how well they were doing with their blocking form. For the next intervention, the researchers set a goal for the athletes themselves a 90% correct blocking score. The athletes again received verbal feedback, but this time a Y or N was placed next to their name publicly in the locker room based on whether they hit the goal set by the researcher. Finally, for the third and final intervention, the athlete set their own goal, received verbal feedback, and was also exposed to public posting of whether or not they met their own goal. Now let's move on to the results. The results indicated that all players involved in the study improved their correct blocking percentage post-interventions. This was true across all interventions. Moreover, this extended to in-game settings. Games in which the players are currently undergoing the interventions resulted in greater performance from all players. This seems to indicate that the interventions could generalize not just to practice performance, but also to in-game performance. Another positive result was that each participant found the intervention techniques to be enjoyable and helpful. This bodes well for the adaptation of these techniques in the future for more athletes. One important final thing to note about this study is the amount of limitations it had. Considering this study really attempted to maximize external validity, its internal validity suffered as a result. We cannot be sure whether the interventions were what was causing an increase in performance. Other factors, such as fatigue, opponent skill, and interpersonal factors may have contributed to the ebbs and flows of performance. Also, because each intervention condition included more than one technique, 
it's hard to parcel out which technique had the greatest effect. For example, we don't know whether verbal feedback was enough on its own to provide the improvements in skills seen throughout all three interventions, or if other techniques like goal setting and public posting were even necessary. Finally, here are some of my thoughts on this article. I honestly was a bit disappointed in the study design. Although it was cool to have high external validity, I really don't think this design, or really the type of statistical analysis they decided to use, yielded any possible unique findings for us to discuss. In the paper, the researchers did not mention whether one intervention had greater effects than the other intervention. That would be something I'd be interested in seeing, because that would let us know, at least potentially, which intervention technique was carrying most of the benefit. When looking at the graphs provided of the data, it appears that this may have been impossible to see anyway due to a ceiling effect. Lots of the blocking during intervention times, at least for some participants, were around 90 to 100%, so it would be really hard to compare success rates across intervention techniques. Overall, to be honest, I was actually a bit disappointed in the study, and I don't think it actually really tells us much about the effectiveness of these interventions. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.